Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays Slay the Spire. Last time, we fell as the silent against the champ. But we know someone who could take on the champ, most likely, and that's going to be the Ironclad. Let's go ahead and take the Ironclad into our next adventure with our burning blood. I'm interested to see if a more offensive approach can actually make it here. Reach the city to receive my blessing. All right. So we can get a new bonus if we go to the city. Oh, I like a lot of these paths, because there's a couple of merchants here that are easy to get to, and they both have question marks on the way. And I think they're about equal, so let's just do this one for now, in the center. And start against this jawworm. Alright, all we have are bashes and defends. You know what? I'm going to defend until he decides to buff himself. If we can get through this fight, taking less than six damage, it'll be as if we haven't been damaged at all. Let's make them vulnerable. And then defend ourselves. Then next turn, I'm surprised he didn't buff himself, to be honest. Wow, he's not buffing. Okay. He's being a weird boy. I'm just going to go ahead and attack him a little bit more here. There we go. Huh. I'm not sure what, his, what he's doing. But you know what? I can't do what I wanted to do, so I'm just going to go all out here and attack you as hard as I can. Now that you've ruined that, since you're playing like a weirdo, Mr. Jawworm, get out of my house. Alright, we'll be fine. Shrug it off, headbutt, anger. Well, anger is very good for an offensive deck, but so is headbutt. I like headbutt a little bit more because it allows me to take a card from my discard pile and put it at the top of my deck for next turn. Shining light. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. Upgrade two random cards for 16 HP? Sure. Head button strike. All right. As you walk toward the light, you notice that the light is absorbed into you. It's scorching hot. However, the pain quickly recedes. You feel invigorated as though you received a well-deserved slap. More damage from head butt and more damage from strike. Can't complain too much. They're decent cards. All right, speaking of which, strike, headbutt, put strike back into my deck for next turn, strike again. What more can you ask for? My power is unmatched. Well, guess what, buddy? It's time to match your power. I'm just going to bash him, give him a strike. He'll be dead next turn. He'll do two damage. Well, sorry, six damage to me. I misread his health. It's the damage he's going to do. We're going to heal that damage right back up, so... uh you matched. My powers were matched. Yes, they were, buddy. Thunderclap. Searing Blow, War Cry. I like Searing Blow. It can be upgraded any number of times. That alone makes it sound pretty darn good. Merchant time. Immolate. Exhaust one card. If the card chosen was a status or a curse, deal 10 damage to all enemies. If I had some statuses or curses... That'd be really good, but Inflame for 39 gold, gain 2 strength? Yeah, buddy. Dude, Inflame and Anger seems like a really great combo. So does Dramatic Entrance, though. It's 6 damage to all enemies for free, and I always start with it. Hmm. But I can't afford it, so I guess that's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? We'll grab Anger, and we'll proceed. Let's question mark Campfire Elite Enemy, then Campfire again. I like that idea. Wing statue. Among the stone and boulders, you notice an intricate, large, blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there's more inside. We could remove a card and lose 7 HP if we pray to it. I don't think we need to remove a card right now. I like what we have. So let's just gain some gold. With all your might, you hack away at the statue. Soon it crumbles, revealing a pile of gold, 64 to be exact. You grab as much as you can and continue onwards. Nice. Do I want to upgrade or do I want to s do I want to rest? Inflame would give me more strength, which is always a great sounding idea. Searing Blow can be upgraded an infinite number of times, which has its own obvious advantages. You know what? Let's upgrade Searing Blow. If we do well with the fight, we'll upgrade it again. Let's see what we're up against here. Ooh! A gremlin knob. All right. He's going to buff himself. 
Wow, there are so many good options here. I'm going to Inflame. Gain two strength. Then I'm going to Headbutt. Putting Inflame back in my deck. And then I'm going to Strike. Let's start off with some extra HP, or extra strength here. He enraged himself. Whenever you play a skill, gains two strength. So he gets stronger as I play skill cards. Yo, I headbutted. Where's my... Yo! Did it get exhausted? Or did I miss it? Huh. Seems to me like that card just kind of disappeared, but that's okay. You know what? I'm not that mad. Anger. Strike for 11. Yes. And then just put up as much... Oh, yeah. That's right. He gets stronger as I do that. Well, that was a mistake. Ow. All right. Eight damage. I understand. Bash. Punch. Anger. Just take the damage and the debuff. Better than making him stronger, I suppose. Vulnerable hurts, but I think we have enough power to kill him. Oh, we do. Haha, <laughs> headbutt. Bag of preparation. Draw two additional cards at the start of combat. It's okay. Exhaust all non-attack cards to deal 16 damage. Not that great. Iron Wave is great, though. Gain block, deal damage. Reckless Charge. Gain vulnerable for 9 damage, but it's free? I like Iron Wave more than that. All right. Ah, what do we have going ahead here? Got a treasure chest next. We could do three question marks in a row. Ooh, or we could hit another uh, elite enemy, too. No, I think we're going to rest and go for that elite enemy. Get another relic. All right. Treasure chest gives us Ghidra. You now gain strength at campfires. Three times max. Interesting. All right, I assume that takes the campfire away. We're going to hit the question marks here. You fall into a puddle. It's made of slime goop. Oh, no. We either lose 45 gold. Oh. We can gain gold and lose HP. You know what? We can sacrifice the HP to gain even more gold. We're strong. We're big, strong boys. We're 56 HP right now. This was a fight. So, we will anger. I think we're going to defend, defend, and strike here. In addition to our anger. Two damage is not bad. Seven damage is even better. Uh, let's inflame. Oh, it's a power. That's why it didn't disappear. Or it didn't go back into my deck. I understand now. I'm going to grab anger. And then I'm going to... Well, iron wave is basically blocked, but with damage on top, so... All right, we're still going to heal more after the battle than he's going to do to us. Rake kind of sucks, but uh, it's not the worst. Anger is free, so it's an easy choice. Let's see. 13 damage, and then I think one more will do it if I'm looking at his HP right. I was looking at his HP right. Flame Barrier. 12 block and 4 damage to attackers when I'm attacked. I do really like that card. Let's see, at the end of your turn, lose 1 HP and deal 4 damage to all enemies. If I had a way of getting HP back, this would be a great card. Deal damage equal to your current block. I like Flame Barrier a lot. And I think it's worth 2 energy. Screw it. Let's do it. Ah, it's you again. The Lagavulin. That name gets me every time. Uh, well, I would not want to start with Headbutt. Let's strike him. All right, woke him up. Headbutt him to get the uh, plus strike back into our deck and then hit him again. It's the best way to start. Hmm. He's stunned. Here we go. Well, I only have two defense, so I guess striking is the best move here. Okay. Kind of a battle of attrition here. I think we could do more damage to him over time, but... Oh, Flame Barrier is really good here. Let's throw that up. And then, you know what? I'm going to inflame. We're still going to take some damage, but he is too. There we go. He took a little bit. Not nearly as much as we gave, but... Ooh, Flame Barrier... Nope, he's not going to attack, so don't Flame Barrier again. 
We're going to use Searing Strike here, followed up with a regular strike. Take his debuff. Siphon Soul. Does reduce our strength by a little bit and our dexterity, but I think we're still in a good spot here. Bash, followed with two angers. Pretty darn good. And I'm going to strike him here. I'm going to just tank this damage. It hurts, Ness, but it's not that bad because I'm going to headbutt him now. I love finishing the fights with a headbutt. It just sounds good. Bottled Lightning. Upon picking it up, choose a skill. At the start of each combat, this card will be in your hand. Dude, it said card, not... It said card, not skill, so I can pick any card. Uh, Burning Pact. Thunderclap or Iron Wave. I don't think any of these are that great. Exhaust one card to drain two... To draw two cards. Four damage and vulnerable to all enemies. Could be all right. Iron Wave is five block and five damage. I, I guess I'm going to go bot with Iron Wave and then grab Bottled Lightning... It does have to be a skill. I did read that right the first time. I guess Flame Barrier is the only thing I got. <laughs> that was not a great relic pickup. Let's hit the next question mark here. How you boys doing? Hope you're doing well. Any of you attacking me? Two of you are, so Flame Barrier is very good here. And then Anger on you since you have the least health. And then I guess we'll strike you too? Uh, actually, if I throw up block here, I can defend their entire attack. So, let's do that. All right. He's going to give me some wounds. Them status cards. Gotcha. Gotcha. You thought you were going to hurt me, but you thought incorrect. As opposed to correct. We're going to inflame and then searing blow here. I don't like any of my options. They're not that great. And I'm just going to take damage. I should have explosive potion here, but it would have just avoided two wounds, which is not the worst. So let's throw the potion now. I'll take care of one of them. I'm going to headbutt. And then with headbutt, I'm going to grab flame barrier for next turn. And then I think I'm going to iron wave and then iron wave again. Oh, well, now I'm not going to take damage, so... All right, here come the wounds, and it's time to shuffle my deck, so I know I'm getting Flame Barrier, which we can use to completely block his attack, and then Headbutt him, and then we get Flame Barrier again next turn, just in case he attacks again. If he doesn't, I should have the cards in my deck to destroy him. In fact, one Strike card will do it. There you go. All right, 22 out of 80 health, not too bad. Toxic Egg. Upgrade, choose an upgrade of skill. I guess I'm going to upgrade Flame Barrier. Apparently, this is the Flame Barrier run, whether I like it or not. No, The only skill here was War Cry. Don't like Reckless Charge. Perfected Strike is good because I have so many Strike cards. Can I avoid taking damage? That's the question here. I'd love to be able to do, to do that. One's going to hit me for six. Although, I could probably kill him this turn. Down to 18. Down the two. Down. <laughs> yeah. All right. The other one's buffing himself. He's going to grow. Three strength is uh, kind of rough. 13 damage, huh? Hmm. Headbutt him. Give me the anger, I think. And then, uh, ooh. I <sighs> should have bashed first and then headbutt. Yeah, that's what I should have done. If I was a smart lad, that's what I would have done. Two strengths not going to help me out here, so I'm just going to bash him anyway. And I'm going to take way too much damage for this fight. For what should have been an extremely easy fight. All right. Regen potion is great. Impervious, 30 block, then exhaust it. Flex is pretty good, but I don't have any... Um, heavy weapons. Dual wield or heavy strikes. Draw one card. Add an extra copy of that card to your hand. I can see where that would be useful. I'm going to skip it though. Alright, let's go rest. I could lift to gain strength. But I need health so badly. But I know what to do if I can ever reach some campfires with good health. Slime boss! How you doing big guy? Guess what he does after he hits me? 
or after his health gets down. After he hits me, he's just gonna hit me, but... Alright. He's gonna hit now with Goop Spray! Oh, no! Draw one less card for two turns. Not that bad. I don't know what he's planning on doing now, but he's not going to attack. Let's make him vulnerable. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's preparing. Slime Crush! Okay, 35 damage would hurt. Uh, <laughs> oh, shoot. Hit him. Hit him. I did not have enough to get him under half health, so I'm going to protect myself as best I can here and take 30 damage. Good lord. All right. If I can get him under half health, he won't attack. Headbutt him. Give me anger back. Iron Wave will put him under half. And I can still inflame. Sweet. Okay. Now he's going to split into two of them with 67 health, which is r really rough. Neither of them are attacking, so we're not going to have to use our defenses this turn. But if they're not attacking, that means they're going to debuff me. Lick weakens. His lick also weakens, I think. No, his, his makes me frail, which means less defense. And 16 attack! I'm pretty much dead. I don't think I can beat this first boss. Oh my goodness, I was way too careless to tell you that right now. That's 16 damage, and I can't get enough block to block it totally. But I can get six block. <laughs> That's kind of pathetic. I'm dead. I think. Yeah, I got 17. They're doing 16. Wow. Yeah, there's not a win in this scenario anymore. Especially with them attacking like that. Just throw up defenses and hope for the best. <laughs> Even though I already know what's going to happen. Alright, just let the big guy attack. Come on now, you're just delaying the inevitable. Okay. Well that didn't go well. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back on to the uh onto the ironclad here, but I think I just rushed to Well, I was greedy, that's what I was. Okay. Less greedy this time when it comes to relics. If I hadn't have done the other elite fight, we probably would have been okay. Alright, back down to just uh strikes, defends, and bashes. Okay, he's going to take my gold, and eventually he's going to try to run away, so the goal here is just to get the kill. We should be able to get it next turn with no problem. All right. You're done. Okay, get my gold back. Get a little bit of extra gold, grab, searing blow. I still think that's a good, good card to have. Wow, a fight in the very next question mark room. Okay. Three strikes is great here. Or at least good. Alright, his power is unmatched. That's alright, though. Because we can bash him. And then we can block most of his attack. Quite easily. Alright. He's going to gain some strength. But we got Searing Blow, which is going to hurt. And then a strike. Excellent. Got most of our health back from that one. Poison Potion, not too bad. Twin Strike, five damage twice. Tempting. Especially for a cost of one. Shrug off. I'm going to take Twin Strike. Try that out. Let's see what we can do here. More Slime Goop! All right, give me the gold. I'm a greedy boy. Ooh! Fancy treasure chest. 47 gold and a strawberry for 7 more max HP. Okay. I like that. How you doing? Blood for blood. Cost 1 less energy each time you lose health in combat. Deal 16 damage. That's pretty good. Bludgeon. 32 damage for 3 energy. 
Infernal Blade, add a random attack to your hand. It costs zero this turn. If I had a lot of, like, really high costs, like if I had bludgeons, a lot of bludgeons, this would be really good. Offering. I don't like it. Berserk. If your HP is below 50%, gain energy at the start of each turn. I mean, I'd have to be hurt for that one, and I don't like that idea. Panacea. Lose all frail, vulnerable, and weak. Wow. That's cool. Secret weapon. Okay. Get a... Choose an attack and place it into my hand. Devara. Plus one strength at the beginning of each combat. That's pretty tempting. Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP in combat, draw three cards. That doesn't seem that great. Devara's tempting. So is Blood for Blood, though. That could become free if I get hit enough. Hmm. Plus, if I'm really careful with my uh, with my defenses, I could make good use of that. But Panacea is really good, too. Lose all frail, vulnerable, and weak. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to get blood for blood, too. And I'll try out Infernal Blade. What the heck? All right. Kind of stuff in our deck there, but that's okay. Let's see what we can upgrade. Infernal Blade... Makes it cost nothing. That sounds pretty great. Blood for blood costs one less and deal 18 damage. Twin strike, more damage. Actually not bad considering uh, gives you an additional four damage. Searing blow can, of course, be upgraded multiple times. Now let's get Infernal Blade. I don't have any cards that cost zero right now, so we'll try that out. Then we'll fight. How you doing, Jawworm? All right. Let's bash and then twin strike. It's going to hit me for 11, which is not too bad, considering I have plenty of health right now. And this time we're going to actually beat the first boss. I'm fairly confident in that. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's going to charge up. I'm, well, in that case, I'm tempted to use blood for blood. He is vulnerable, so it'll do extra damage. You know what? It's more than two strikes. Where, in fact, it's enough to kill him. Nice. Armaments is so good. I love the fact that he can upgrade a card. A battle or a camp? I'm going to battle. Ah, the rats are back. Let's try not to screw this fight up again, because that's what happened last time. I screwed this fight up badly. I have no defense cards, so... <laughs> this stinks. All right. Not bad. Still not bad. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw down armaments. Upgrade Twin Strike. Use it on this one to get rid of him, and then Armaments again to defend all the damage. There we go. We played that decently for once. He's going to buff himself. You know what? We don't need this weakness. Thank you. This vulnerability. Excuse me. Uh, it's 12 damage either way, so... Actually, we do extra damage this way, so that works out. And then next turn, we just kill the thing. Oh, no. It's getting bigger. Well, guess what, boy? We got an Infernal Blade, which means we can play. It, we don't even have a bludgeon. It literally gives us a free attack card of any kind. That's awesome. On your head. Literally on your head. That's awesome. Searing Blow, Iron Wave, Fiend Fire is new. Exhaust your entire hand. Deal seven damage for each exhausted card, and then exhaust it. No, no thanks. Iron Wave is still really good. Let's go to the left for the elite enemy. I know what I said, but we need to fight some elite enemies. Peace Pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck at campfires. Oh, okay. Cool. You take a token, remove a card. Is there anything I want to remove? Not really. Not yet. Let's upgrade something instead. Let's see. Iron Wave. Armaments will upgrade all the cards that are currently in my hand. Blood for Blood, I think. Costing one less and dealing more damage? It's a pretty strong upgrade. Alright, big boy. You again. Alright. So let's see. What's our best play? Our best play is actually to hold off. He's going to lose this at the beginning of every turn. He's sleeping. We just wait till we have a good hand. Bash is like what I want. So let's bash him. See, he gets the vulnerable. Also, let's uh, 
Oh, no, I already upgraded that. But let's upgrade something else, too, while we can. So the next turn, if I can get a good attack card. Twin Strikes is not bad. In fact, Searing Blow, then Twin Strike is pretty good. All right, that works. Oh, no, he's stunned. And now he's going to hurt me hard. Okay, Infernal Blade. Cleave. Not that useful, but it costs nothing, so we're going to use it. And all we can do now is attack. Why does this keep happening to me? Weaken him. Sure. Drop his damage down a bit. Ay -ay -ay. I'm. I need more block cards, I guess. Yeah, going over a little bit too much on the defensive doesn't seem to work out for me the way I would like it to. Block that attack. Twin strike him. I'm liking tri twin strikes a lot. In fact, taking that with some kind of strategy that increases my strength could be really good. It's going to debuff me now, so I think... Blood for blood. And then armaments to upgrade Searing Blow. And we can keep upgrading that every time we get those together. Alright, he's no longer weakened. But we are. By quite a bit. Well, we reduce some of the damage. If we can get a good combination of cards next turn, we should be able to kill him and stay at 38 health. This is not a great combination of cards. Oh, we keep the cleave, too. That's interesting. I'm going to upgrade Twin Strike here and hope that it helps out. I wanted to use the block, actually. Not that. Ah, crap. <laughs> I could have thrown a poison on him, I suppose, and killed him. But he's dead anyway. Yikes. We got the anchor, though. Start each combat with 10 block is really good. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain four block. I have one exhaust card right now, which is Infernal Blade. Thunderclap, Sword Boomerang. Skip. Oh no, I'm oh I'm railroaded to another elite fight. I don't know if I'm ready to do another one. I don't want to upgrade cards and lose 17 HP. I can't afford that. Oh, it's these boys. How many of them are attacking? Two of them. So that's 16 damage. Infernal Blade is free. Immolate. I don't have any statuses or curses yet, but these guys do give me wounds. So this could work out. Let's defend. We're going to take one damage now. So we're going to inflict 12 damage on you. This is good. This is good. I don't want to exhaust anything that's in my hand right now, but that's actually a clever card to have. Especially when those boys end up in my hand again. Alright. One damage so far. Now armaments. And power up twin strike. And try to kill this guy this turn. And fail at it. And take uh, a lot of damage. It's 24, so I'm taking 14. Why me? Alright, get rid of him. Two blocks to defend against that, and the wounds are fine for now. Okay, if we can get us down to just one of them, we'll be perfectly fine. Or at least we should be. Two strikes. Blood for blood is free. So, strike him. Strike him. Strike him. Strike him. Nice. Okay. Now we're okay. <laughs> Moderately okay. I did not want to fight this actual fight. So, I'm a... Uh, I'm a little bit miffed that we are fighting it at all. But we'll be fine. Okay. Immolate. Get rid of wound. Nice. Armaments. Upgrade bash. No. Upgrade block. And then use block to make sure I don't take damage here. There you go. All right. And now we should be able to kill him. It. Whatever. Latori! Whenever you would lose less than 5 HP, reduce it to 1. I will love that. Burning Pact, Wild Strike, Thunderclap. I don't like any of those. 
I am once again kind of set to not have enough health, or not as much as I want here. Hemokinesis, lose 3 HP for 14 damage. I don't want to lose HP, but at the same time, I could kill him in one hit. Does the block absorb it? Let's find out. No, it does not. That was not worth it. But I did get... I can use blood for blood now. And the block will absorb the rest of his damage, so... It was not ideal. <laughs> I can't pretend it was. That was not how I wanted that to go. Uh, let's upgrade block. Grab block. And then my attacks are so weak. <laughs> so weak. But next turn, they'll be okay. Alright. Just going with a debuff again. Let's see. This is 10 damage. Yeah, searing, this and Searing Blow will take him out. Cool. Cool, cool, coolie, cool. Rampage. 8 damage. Every time I play it, it gains 8 or 4 more. Or Heavy Blade. Strength affects Heavy Blade multiple times. I like it for that. If I had a lot of strength cards, I could use that. But I think I'm going to go with Rampage. Alright, we got to rest. We have no choice. We have 50 out of 87 health. We're going up against the Guardian. The Guardian, I should be able to defeat, though. Alright. He's charging up. Destroy, destroy, destroy. We can land 13 damage on him. Which we might be able to. We've done it. Alright. In the defense mode he goes. Plenty of damage was done, in my opinion. Sharp hide, so we want to avoid attacking for a little while. So let's go ahead and just throw up the defense. And let's throw a poison on him. That's not going to hurt us. Alright. Nice. 16 damage here. Reduce it as much as we can. Infernal Blade gives us a headbutt. We'll use it. I'm going to take the damage here, but I think it's worth it to throw armaments back in my deck. And let him wake up. Remember, we do get healed after this fight. So, if we can continue to reduce some damage, we should be all right. 20 damage. Oh, we might be able to reduce this. If you would lose less than 5 HP, reduce it to 1. Uh, if we had a way to weaken him, we'd be good here. I think armaments, twin strike. And then we just hit him. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to do the full 20 damage, unfortunately. Yep. Next move, he's going to charge up. Rampage does more damage this turn, so I think... Bash into Rampage. Knocks him back down. Nice. Alright, there's a Sharp Hide. Blood for Blood is free, though. Ah, it's so tempting. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I could have blocked for... Oh, it did reduce it to one, though, because of the, uh... Because of my Tori. So, that was worth it. You know what? Hit him. No, no, it's not going to reduce it from the shield damage, so... It's not worth it. Only reduces HP damage. So, something to keep in mind. Alright. Defend. Iron Wave. Gives us ten defense. I think that's all I got. Twin Strike is going to do more damage than it... More damage to me than it actually helps against. So, we want him to wake up here. 20 damage. Armaments is our best play here, whether we like it or not. Uh, wow, this will get a lot stronger over time now. Rampage. Strike. Hope for the best. <laughs> Okay, he's going to buff himself up this turn. Blood for blood. Double damage. Keep striking him. Okay. We might be able to kill him if we get a strong enough attack. 
Give me a strong card. Rampage will do it. Woo! These things are getting dicey. All right. Demon form. At the start of each turn, gain two strength. Oh, where have you been all my life? This turn, your next attack is played twice for double tap. I love that card, too. Brutality. At the start of your turn, lose HP, draw one card. Well, that's garbage. Uh, but double tap and demon form are both amazing. Two strength at the start of each turn? Dude, if I get that and a couple heavy blades, I will be unstoppable. Astrolab, don't tempt me again. Mark of Pain. Gain energy at the start of each turn. At the start of combat, add two wounds to your draw pile. That's not that bad, actually. That's not that bad. Lizard Tail. When you would die, heal 50% of your max HP instead. I'm going to grab the Mark of Pain. Extra energy each turn, I think, is pretty darn good. This brand was used by the Northern Tribes to signify warriors who had mastered pain in battle. I think that's pretty good. All right. Let's see who our next fight is going to be. I'm going to go this way. Oh, the Spirit Guardian again. All right, next time here on Thet Plays. Slay the Spire. We're going to take on the Spirit Guardian and hopefully be less, less goofy with our turns here. We got some very interesting cards. I like Inferno Blade. I'm going to love Demon Form. That's going to be obvious. If I can, if I can find a way to rock that thing out regularly, we'll be in good. We'll be in a very good spot. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Thet Plays Slay the Spire. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video. Likes and subscriptions and all that. You, you, you know the drill. You, you know what to do. You're good YouTubers. Technically, I'm the YouTuber. You're the good viewer. You're my boys. I'm going to shut up now. I'm embarrassing myself.